Ah! I've got news. <sighs> We've done a reading. <gasps> Five of swords. swords. That's the same card as yesterday. Let's hope it's not the Knight of Wands. Oh, wait a jinx it, Rain. This doesn't look good. It's fine. This happens all the time. There are 78 cards in a deck. The same ones come up a lot. You know? I get it. But we drew the exact same cards yesterday. What are the odds of putting all three again? One in 474,550. God, Ray, you ruin every party. I know. I get asked a lot. Bet it's a ten of swords. They can't bet. It's illegal. Well, I think somebody rigged the deck, Lexi. It's happening again. There's going to be another murder. Oh, shit. Then Lexi did her thing, and now we have a name. Ellis Munro. <gasps> it is Monroe! Oh, Monroe! Oh my god, look at you! I told you she was the sacrifice for the tulips. We knew it. Did you get the tulip festival on the horn? Get, we need to do you think the tulip festival is the interdimensional like gateway hub? Okay, so is tulip what does tulip stand for? Time uh, traveling, uh, traveling ultra on, life like, form in, in person? <laughs> <laughs> the tulip festival! <laughs> it meant so much more! <laughs> Sam. What? Do me a favor. Go easy on Violet. Huh? Why? If you need to get anything out of her. Let me deal with it. She'll open up to me. Okay, that, so if we no, want to talk no, to no. Violet, we have to talk to her as the chief. All right. Now I know. That's how we get things out of her. Uh, also, is that all he had to say to us? That, uh, we could have asked more, but we it's the summary of what we already did. Oh, okay. Do you want, but you want more jinx, right? I'm sorry. I'm, oh. I'm robbing you of your content. We've got a new target. Ellis Monroe. Rain still says he was praying in his room alone. Bronwyn and Lexi lied about being together last night. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. Yeah, but it's his girlfriend. That's it. Like, that's... Oh, wait. It yeah. makes sense that he knows it, but anyone else shouldn't. Yeah, no one... That's just a gotcha. quick little, hey... Okay. Like a hint, if someone mentions that wedding dress, we know that they've been in her closet. We could go see Alice. Oh, man. Are we going to see the Monroe and Poe and Monroe? I'm not ready to put a face to that voice. Let's wait. Okay. Thank you for You're welcome. putting my fears into... Well, I didn't I didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Thank you. Uh, okay, so I'm going to... Here, don't before anything. You're only alive because whoa, whoa. we want you to be. Oh, my God. What? Fucking God! What? Is, what the? What fuck? the fuck? You can't just what is do that. that. What you does can't that mean? just do that out of nowhere. Is like that the game saying like, "Hey, stop fucking around." Hi, I, <laughs> I'm, not, Hi. I'm not fucking around. Hi, I'm, I'm trying to solve a murder. There's time travelers and shit, dude. I'm just trying to figure it out. There was a little girl who showed up and no one seemed to know. Like, did you not see? Who are you? What's your name? What's she about? Was that Monroe? Lord. Oh, Claude Violet Dupont! Been UFO sighted on a night that you can't remember. <laughs> ah! Is this his like? Don't worry, I've got her. I've got her in the bag. She oh, loves no. UFOs. Ready? Go. Shh. Lord, I told you never to speak about this. Wait. So you think it's real? Absolutely. I need you to tell Sam what happened. Yes, tell Sam everything. Please tell me everything. Help what? Me. The whole thing. Think about it. Hey, so it's me, Sam, again. I hear something about UFOs. <laughs> Hi, just your best friend here, Sam. Putting the U in UFO. <laughs> I'm going to abduct you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we're making yeah. a new company called... Ah! 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 Is that the alien? Excellent work. Gold star for you. Thank you. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is my goddaughter, Sophia. Ah, from the gods! Alien! Alien! And she's a maths genius. Alien! A maths! 
<laughs> I have to pop to my room to get something. Be nice to her while I'm gone. Can we interview this Otherwise, child? I, might have I to think that's smother you in your sleep. Uh, that's mm, sure. Look, I get that you want to be fun, but that's not probably What's something to say to your client and your guest. Yeah. I'm the baby man. Howdy, man. No, don't tell no. I've seen the baby man. I know. Yeah. Uh huh. Tell me. Don't look like you. What do they look like? Oh, do you want to know a secret? Yeah. Yes. Violet was taken by aliens in their ship. Yeah. Really? She doesn't want anyone to know. But so we're, are you an alien? You can tell me. Sophia, your mother will be here for you soon, so run along and wait. <laughs> now, Sam. Okay. Is that how we could get the alien conversation if we didn't do DuPont? I don't know. And you can't. Do you open up with that? Sophia mentioned let's, aliens. Let's open with Ellis Monroe. That's that's a general. <laughs> that's a fair thing to go with. And then cool. let's see where the conversation Ellen takes Monroe. us. Monroe. She's on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently she's going to be the next victim. Yeah. Do you know anything about how she might be found dead? Yes. I believe I did. She was here once for something. Here? I don't remember now. Is she the alien? Okay, so we have. I think this is the neither or. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm. I'm scared, because I need to know this answer. And if we fuck this up, I'm. I'm gonna be sad. The chief said. We know this is true. Like the. Like that the, the chief, chief absolutely said this because we. Equals we were chief. the chief. Yeah. This and is we said says that. bluff, but like. No, it's not. That's a fact. Well, the chief never told us this, and also it might be, like, as the chief, we told her you should tell Sam about this. We oh, we she should bring it forward. Yeah, we never, we never said that we, as the chief, would we'll tell, tell Sam uh, to ask about this. So then that because that would make her go like, well, fuck the chief. Yeah, then. yeah, that might cut off the chief as a source of how to get she, how to get deep open up to i like meanwhile yeah. sophia did mention aliens we are not lying we are just saying hey your goddaughter told us a secret and she said that you were abducted by aliens <laughs> aren't kids funny like <laughs> we, we aren't even accusing her of that actually happening haha <laughs> isn't that funny what do they look like yeah wouldn't that be hilarious but if you were abducted tell me everything about it <laughs> she has a wicked imagination for her age. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Damn it! Is that why you're taking Phil? Both of these suck. Yeah, okay. I don't like. I don't like either of these. I wanted. This is what like. Okay, I've talked about like. I want to do videos on conspiracy stuff. I feel like people are way too like. Huh, so is that why you're like? Uh, is that why you believe in aliens? Yeah, I just like. So tell me your experience. You think you were abducted? Just tell, tell me, me about it. Tell, tell me about it. Use your own words. I'm yeah. not gonna. I'm not gonna try and get words. that shit. But hey, you think you were? Do you think you were abducted? And don't worry about how weird or odd it sounds. I specifically want you to tell me what your experience was. Yeah. Do you think you're sitting here now? Perception is reality, Sam. There you go. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I needed to confide in someone, so okay. I told yeah. Then we got the truth. Okay. Okay. Just Chief Dupont. Ah, uh, yeah. And now you, apparently. Well, then how? Did I think I think that's the truth. Then how did the kid know? Do you think you were abducted last night? Why are you talking about this again? You understand. Every time you mention abduction, it opens up a vault of crushing memories that I'd rather stay locked up. Hey, you know what? That's fair. <sighs> I. Mm. All right, yeah, well, maybe maybe we can get more out of her later. Yeah. Use that kid as leverage. That's that's what I love to do. Uh, that's the that's the easy yeah, thing, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I've heard on the radio, but other than that, I don't know anything about her. I want to help, though. That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Although we can be sure of one thing. What? They... I mean, Did they both know the killer. Could it be someone? Uh, sure. Awesome. Not necessarily. If it's a traveler, then they just jump into any vessel, have their fun, and go. It just needs to be someone nearby. What? I don't. So then, wait. So what's Hang the thing on. we know? Like, you can't go, at least we know one thing, and then we guess that thing, and then you go, no, it's not that. 
Then what do we know? Maybe she's. That they're both redheads. I think I think that that was her roundabout way of agreeing with us. She was like, not necessarily, but basically. Oh, okay. That like, um, because It'll the be traveler person. Near them. Yeah, the traveler person. Fuck, that makes me think this whole shape shifting thing is like being a traveler dude because we're like we can only transform into people that we know and have met recently. Yeah, and it takes a little bit of time. Shit. A Are we little the bit. What did you want to know? What is a right? A right can take many forms, but from what we know about these travelers, it seems to be performing some kind of coming of age ceremony. Some kind of tulip festival. Yeah? Just saying. Yeah? Yes. Just saying. A rite of passage. Oops. Running havoc in our dimension is rewarded in theirs. What? Not fair, is it? Can, yeah, can we turn the table? You just on? let so anytime like any any traveler turns 16, they just, you know, they just go out and go crazy. Are we are we seeing going to see a pattern since they're saying that there were uh, maybe? I don't know. This would be, this would be like their 21st birthday. Everyone just gets shit-faced and parties in the other dimension and then and they just have a work. fun time and then they go home and they go yeah i like killed four people it was great high yeah. five <laughs> awesome three is a powerful number tell me about it there's a divine balance to it in our universe anyway i agree but mario maybe it three mean the best mario the from. playstation three maybe three Worst is just the carry on <laughs> for interdimensional travel uh dorota had a coin in her mouth that's right we know uh what was it a gold coin Yes, it was. Do Does she know that? I mean... Because only Chief DuPont knows that. I was going to say, only Chief DuPont knows that, but it's... I mean, it was, and she is opening up to us about a bunch of time traveler shit, so you know what? Yeah. If she wanted to not be suspicious... <laughs> That's already out the window, yeah. I guess. Okay, so do we tell the truth? Because I think if she... She'll I, tell us, regardless of if we tell her the truth, she will tell us something about, about it. About how important a gold coin would have been. Like, ah, oh, well, that's a shame. If it was only a gold coin. Like, she would have been safe. Yeah. I think I go, think this is leverage we shouldn't give up. Go ahead. I'm going to say no. Good. That would have been Yeah, uh-huh. Travelers leave all sorts of marks on their victims. It's basically showing off that they belong to that traveler. If you find those coins on someone, though, that could be pretty damning. Uh, no. I can do a reading if you want. Nah. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Nine of Cups. This is a very positive card. Like positively evil. It's like a suspect. But something feels wrong. He's too smug too self-congratulating like he's got away with something he did something he shouldn't have i don't think it was the I murder like this, Sam. i don't like this one bit at all i think he was macking on the on dorota but i don't know if he was yes murdering. of course anything <laughs> mercury is their like special tarot card right That's yeah the, i'm yeah. kind of wanting to I think we should ease back a bit on the Violet stuff, maybe, because I think she will not. If she's like, I can't believe you told her to spy on yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I would. I think I would agree. I think I've she's already been doing a fragile that, relationship sure, as it is. I'll keep at it. Maybe it'll feel sorry for me and finally put out. Whoa! What's the what? What does what does what what? Is that? Hold on, <laughs> Karen. Do we? Are, do our actions define what these characters are like? Us being a very forward Bronwyn on Oscar. Did that like is is she now like ugh? Maybe it'll put out. Maybe maybe would have you know, like maybe now she's like maybe it now like she's takes a, on her traits. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that, but you know what? Considering if us like if we are a traveler person just jumping between different realities and it's like residue from what we did, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. But that seems that seems like so much work to code. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say from uh, from a me mechanical perspective, that, that seems, seems like, like a, a big fucking undertaking. nightmare. That said, that I, I don't know. I was gonna say this. Well, maybe if there's only like you know two choices, that would maybe she would have had a binary of 
thing she could say there. Yeah. It wouldn't be as wouldn't be as crazy, but yeah, if it was, maybe it'll put out, or maybe it'll just be like, maybe we'll get something. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just spitballing. No, here. no, I, I I get you. I like it. Tell me about Alice. Yes, I met her at the radio station. Oh, all right. Why why were you there? I oh. was offering my services. I was praying there I was on Mondays. Earning a living is tricky when you travel around as much as we do. What's your service? And last time I checked, Violet wasn't offering us room and board for free. No, you should check again. Tell I me about arrangements. Birmingham. Birmingham. Buyer? Mingham. In Birmingham, it was a man called Yuri Harris. It. He worked as a butcher. He beheaded Fitting. all three girls within hours of each other. Oh. And we couldn't stop it. He pleaded not guilty for reason of temporary insanity. Hmm. Why do you think he was in? Because he had a coin. Because he said he'd see us again in August. Ah. Before he even knew it was a month and a place. Well, okay. Ah, damn. So they're chasing down the same, the same perp, possibly. That's fun. So what's the news about Ellis? feel so useless sitting here. Oh, we haven't talked to her yet. We wanted to ask everyone if they knew her first. We probably should warn yes, her, though, that she might be in danger. Me. Tell me what to do. Um, What could she do? Yeah, I don't really know how she what's can help the, us. That's a lie. Like, what's the option? Yeah. I just... Oh, man. Hmm. She'd probably be a good lure for Zach since he seems to <gasps> oh, be ready to jump any girl who yeah. comes his way. Yeah. They're perfect for each other. Yeah. She seemed, she'd probably be into that. Who's that? Is he a suspect? I guess he must be. Okay, I'm on the case. Just give me a minute to get ready and I'll be off. Thanks. All right. All leave, right, cool. That'll leave him kind of tied up with her. All right. If you know um, what I mean. Okay. Let's... Oh, no, nope, he's... I'm playing feel... footy. Uh, yeah. You'll be visited by one woman tonight. Monroe. Everyone knows her. She's a local radio star here. Uh-huh. Mm. Ha I mean, he is a mm. photographer. Yeah. I always get the shot, Sam. One way or another. What the fuck, oh, man? Real... You do understand yeah. I'm a detective looking for suspicious people, right? <laughs> yeah, do you like, decide just, to come on. do this? I get that you might have like a cool dude act that you put on for everybody, but like when you're one-on-one -on -one with a detective looking for a murder suspect, that's how you're gonna be? Maybe the, I get my shot one way or another every time, wink, is not what you say to the guy <laughs> looking for someone who might have killed somebody. You must be Sam. What if I wasn't? Were you just going to walk in? Did I walk into her window? <laughs> like her back porch? <laughs> you just got off the phone with Chief DuPont. I can't believe it. Yeah, you're going to die. Chris Dorota? Now me. Hey, uh, I was listening to uh, Poe and Monroe earlier, and you said you weren't going anywhere, and now I yeah, see you here. On the Do radio. you always oh. lie on the radio? No. Is that Sorry. Just thing? You know that already. Um, we've been partners for two years now. He's a good friend. Where do I find him? He's on air at the moment, but he'll be finished at 8.30. I mean, she was on the radio, I'm pretty sure. That'll be that'll be yeah. easy to cut. Poe's not a killer, Sam. He's married with kids. He's a lovely guy. I mean, the problem is our killer is a time traveler who possesses people who are near the victim you, at the moment of the Just don't worry about it. You wouldn't get it. It's, just where's the tulip festival? <laughs> yeah. Tell me more about this tulip festival. I'm very suspicious yes. of it. <laughs> we were... Mostly because I want everything to go friends. straight to the top. I hadn't known her for long. Only a few weeks. We met at the gala. What I gala? I was hosting and she was playing. The cello, you know? I guess... We talked for a little while, and then she asked me for a drink after the show. What happened after and then? The show? After we'd had a few drinks, she invited me back to her house. Uh huh. Wow. I and thought we were just gonna chat, watch a movie, that sort of thing. She was like, "Hey!" Uh, then she kissed me. Oh! Yeah. I was so shocked. <laughs> she was so attractive. So I kissed her back. And then she died right then and there. 
Hmm. Maybe? This is just between us, right? Yeah. Mm, uh, okay, yeah. We fooled around. Yeah. I don't have many friends, Sam. Everyone thinks because I'm on the radio, I have tons of friends, so nobody ever approaches me. I get lonely. But Dorota was my friend, and I liked making her happy. Okay. So Dorota might be kind of sleeping around. Mm -hmm. Would that be something that the Traveler would do while possessing her body, or... Was she just doing that, you think? Hmm, I wonder. There's so oh, many options. And Dorota. People I say hi to. I have thousands of followers and subscribers, and they keep me feeling warm when I'm down, but they're not friends. I do yeah. get the odd stalker, but that isn't something anyone wants. I mean, look, if I just knew somebody appreciated me to the point of where they had to follow me, I don't know if I can... Anyway, did you know Dorota had a book? <laughs> Oscar. Yeah. She was a bit confused. When we started seeing each other, she didn't... She didn't like him touching her anymore. I didn't mind. But she did. So, so you were into the open if he wanted to get sexual, then maybe she should try something else. Like. I said some guys like to watch, so tell him it would be sexy if he could look, but he couldn't touch. As far as I know, it worked. Okay, so Oscar was a, a bit less uh, progressive, let's say, in their yeah. relationship. Uh, yeah. The killer was in her wardrobe? What? Well, then it had to be Oscar. He's the only one it could be. But Oscar was playing, was playing footy. footy. That doesn't make any sense. Then she was seeing someone else? No. Someone Zach? she knew. Knew she'd be alone? A stalker? A photographer? A man who always mm. gets his shot? Yeah, actually, did Oscar know about you? Is a, I'm curious about that. Yeah. I don't think so. We were very discreet. It was more fun that way. You know, Zach. Not very well. He's done a few shoots of me and Poe to promote the show. Okay. Doesn't sound like she has, but might as well go no. ask No. Zach keeps asking, but I just don't want to. Oh, Sounds okay. like a real creepy stalker, oh, huh? Yeah. But Dorota did. She gave me the pictures as a gift. The pictures were for her, not for the boyfriend. Ah. <laughs> no. Sorry. I did have a strange dream last night, though. Okay. I was a Hollywood actress, and there were hundreds of magazines and newspapers all piling up on the red carpet. Uh huh. That's not really. And they all had my picture on the front cover. But the red carpet wasn't carpet. It <clears throat> was blood. It was blood. Ah! It seeped through all the pages. Then I woke up. Yeah, that probably means you're going to die. I'm sorry. What do you think that means, Sam? You're dead. It means you're anxious about something. For sure. Probably. I don't know what. I mean, I'm anxious now. Maybe maybe it was predicting Dorota's death. Or your own. Or mine. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, yeah. Have we told her that she's a... Uh... Gonna die. I don't want to keep promises that I don't keep. What do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah, what kinda, do you want me to do about both it? Both of these answers suck, yeah. honestly. I don't know. I, I feel like what do you want me to do might be better. Because maybe I'm reading into it the very... What do you Wah! want me to do? No, it's and it's like, maybe just more like, what do you hey, want, what, what do you want what me to do? do? Yeah, maybe it's a more... But no, nah, it's definitely, what do you want me to do? Yeah. Just don't hurt me. Oh, well, oh, easy enough. Well, let me get hurt. Oh, oh okay. well, well, now I, 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 that gets a little tougher. I'll, uh, I'll try. Well, thanks, Monroe. What the oh. fuck? Whoa. Oh. Ah! Sam, you forgot your phone. It's in the middle of- Shit, I hope she didn't check it. I was transforming. Thanks for the phone. 
All right, well, she clearly bugged it, right? <laughs> Absolutely. She checked all the messages. Like, now it's just going to be following us. Okay, so... Now we can do this. Now we can be her. Why the fuck would she be at the hotel? Hi, I'm Ellen. Uh, I'm Ellen. Hi, I'm, I'm coming. I'm I, feel like we, I feel like we asked Violet about her, and she said she had come by before. So, you know, maybe uh, it's not that weird. Uh, okay. That said, she has nothing to say to us. Looks like she's abducted. I love the idea of <laughs> we have these these uh, card re these tar tarot card people who believe they know like things from the supernatural and like time travel and shit. But then we shape shift into one of the suspects and talk to them, and they have no idea. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, get a reading on that. Oh well, you don't know that the the. Three of wands. Sorry, uh, I got an eight of swords, and that means you're not Chief Dupont, are you? Is Alice, does she have no one to talk to? <laughs> Nobody wants to talk to Monroe. Damn, she really has no friends. Wow. She might talk to, did we, never mind. That's like the Chief, but no, the Chief was not one of her friends. It was Dorota. How do we transform into the dead girl? We, we never got Can to know Can I go her. up? Can I go up to the dead body and thus reanimate? We need to look at pictures of it. We need to speak to her. Maybe. Oh, show me the pictures. Uh, did we talk to everyone? I don't think we've talked to everyone this chapter. Let me violate really quick. I'm talking about. I want to talk about some fucking aliens. Yeah, like, let's <laughs> let's chat up the alien. Bit. I can't drop the aliens Violet. bit and not expect me to do nothing. Is but there that. a chance these travelers could be extraterrestrial? What kind what of- What the fuck? I confided in you. We don't get very many friends. Maybe Zach? Would Zach want to see us? I mean, Zach's always wanting to see us. Zach will see us day or night. All right, well, it's- Hello, Rain, lovely. sleet, or hail. Take a look at this. <gasps> da -da -dum. Why are you the creepiest guy ever? <laughs> and I, love this I don't picture. want to see pictures of your conquests. Yeah. Very it's firm. Not like that. It's just a press photo. Do you see anything in it? <gasps> uh, Is there a ghost? Uh -huh. Yeah, hang on. What do you just my mind playing tricks, I guess. No, no let me tell see. Us. No, show me! When I drink enough and I'm alone enough. I can see what what do you see? What do you see? Step into them. Yeah, I see it taking a clothes off. What do you fucking see? Tell me that's not Anyway. It's not an answer. You can't Step just Step <clears throat> into them. It's like a hologram. Dude, sometimes I just get really sleepy and drunk, and I just take a walk and a photo. You ever do that? Inside them, like that's how I spend my Fridays night. Real, dude. Real reality. The picture comes alive. Is he a traveler? And I'm inside it. Is he traveling to the time? Does he not even photos, realize it that he's he doing that? And he doesn't know he's doing it. <sighs> dude. Did you Thanks. did you strangle Dorota in one Just of these photos? Just because you were like, haha, it's a, it's I'm dreaming and I'm drunk. Isn't this fun? <laughs> what do they say? Normally, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> in this one, it's just Dorota. So I'm in her living room. In her closet. She says that she should have been nicer to me. And I strangle her to and death I in her bed. Should make her be nice. How do you make her be nice? She's a bad girl. You're insane. <laughs> Nah. Me and the aliens have been talking. You're <laughs> nuts. That's why I want a picture of you. So you can come talk to me? So I can get inside it. It'd be nice to you. It'd be really, really nice. Is the sun coming up or going down? I swear to God, it's a random shot every time because then we're going to make a left and then it looks like it's night now. And then oh. it just kind of randomly cuts into this cut. So it's okay. like, depending on where you look. Oh, yeah. yeah. See? Yeah. Oh, all right. It was a very opportunist uh, shot. Yeah. Because you know, depending on when you cut it, it could be day or night. Has Violet talked to any of the other guests? <laughs> Is there any more we can get from Oscar? Uh, fuck Oscar. Uh, apparently not. He, uh, no, he I just likes nope. to watch. Nope, we tried. Uh... Which you know, that does line up. Uh, yeah. We had Bronwyn throwing herself at him. And he was like, I'm uncomfortable. I'm getting out of here. And then we come to find out that, oh, wait, he didn't like to be with Dorota, his actual girlfriend, either. Oh. Let's. 
Let's have Zach go over to Oscar and tell him what's what. <laughs> So let's let's see if we can get something out of, out of the tarot stuff. Yeah. Hi. Okay. You know she's I'm gonna die. Bronwyn. How's it gonna happen? Why can't we stop it like I'm right now? Bronwyn. Yeah. Can we just like surround this girl and make sure she's fine? Just put her in a closet. What's gonna happen? For twenty four hours, you're just stuck in this room. The Ouija nothing. board said her name specifically, so I feel like that's. I'm not one for mystics and crystal balls. I'm a Virgo. Is that like a thing that the Virgos do? It says you're lying about your alibi. It says you're lying about your. It says. It says. It says you're lying about your alibi. I don't. Is it? Oh, oh. The t the cards are saying that is what we're supposedly saying. Is that? I don't think that's entirely accurate. It's not accurate. That's just like kind of trying to get. Am I just trying to her. protect Violet now that I know that she's seen aliens and I just want to keep that, her stable? That's what I'm. That's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. I'm like, you might be crazy and like, you know, I might be a little jealous, but hey, uh, aliens are that's some fucked <laughs> up. Aliens shit. are real, and I want yeah, you to feel I, I, like you can talk about that. And I want so you I don't to want... know that I believe that more than anything. Then again. Do we want to make Sam be the one she confides in by ruining everyone else? Ah, oh, I like it. Let's do it. I suppose it has a 50-50 chance of getting it right. <laughs> what? That's that's how could be, work. or maybe it's not. Oh. I'm just gonna stand behind you. And... <laughs> it was a brain. Ron, what are we gonna do about Ellis? Let's figure it out. Kill her. What would you? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. I, I like that because that makes before? it impossible for us to be able to tell if she's talking about what are we going to do about Ellis, as in should we kill her or should we protect her? It's good stuff. Hang on, I'm getting a phone call. No, you do that. I'm just going to be here. You do it. You got it. Okay, cool. You got it. All right. So Lexi over here. Is that, so what are we seeing? in the? Is that a mirror behind her? Oh, well, never mind. You know, okay. she's just wondering what's going on, and all she wants to do is know what Bronwyn's got to say. And Bronwyn, uh, which is us right now, is just standing, looming over her, staring at her. Now we've kind of gotten over to the side of her face, and we're just looking at her and just looking at her profile. And we're just like, hey, I see you there. It's going to be okay, Lexi. Everything's fine. And then we get on the other side of her and just watch her twiddle her, uh, twiddle her, old, uh, her, her necklace and just give it a little twist. And that pensive, hold it in place, you're real nervous. That's perfect. I'm Bronwyn. I'm your boss. I'm your elder tarot reader. And now you're asking me to leave, I guess, because we're looking at the door. Uh, I got blow my, okay, I got blow my nose real quick. All right, go blow your nose. I'm going to continue describing what I'm looking at here and uh, telling you what Bronwyn would be doing. Oh, and we're... But now we're back inside. She's like, okay, fine, you can come in. We're like, listen, we just want to help you. And she does not like it when we say that. Notice the look on her face. She is not into that. Uh, but, you know, she's slowly getting used to it. She's, it's kind of the, the shocked, hey, we're going to do this together. And she's like, I don't, I don't believe you, but okay. And we notice this as she nervously moves her hands around. See, now this has become a game of uh, L.A. Noir where I have to read her body language to tell if she's lying. And right now, if I see you doing this when I'm pressing you for info, I I am suspecting you. And then I'm going to look at it from this angle uh, to see if I'd suspect you anymore from behind, say, like a fence or a bedpost or a bench of some kind. Perhaps my suspicions will either uh, intensify or uh, perhaps they'll... <laughs> Be sus my suspicions will be suspended. I don't know. Suspension? The suspension of dis suspense. Yes. <laughs> hi, ah. uh, hi. by the way, hi chat. I'll probably cut this out of the recording. Who gives a shit? <laughs> but I see people actually there. So, hey, thanks. Neat. I'm happy it's not on fire. A, a, a decent amount of people are there. So, hey, cool. Great. Uh, okay. But, uh, it was the aliens. At, at, as I was saying before, though, I do really like that. Lexi is purposefully not indicating whether or not she wants to help Monroe or murder her. <laughs> like she is, yeah. playing, she is playing this very neutral. And I just want to point out that I really appreciate the writing there in that all she has said is, what are we going to do? And your answer is like, what do you want to do? She's yeah. like, I don't know. We tried before. A few times we've caught up with the Traveler and nothing's worked. Talking to them, killing them, 
restraining them? Hmm. I mean, rest okay, we're talking about like rites and rituals and things. Right. There's got to be some sealing ritual. I've seen enough Naruto to know that that's possible okay. with, with these with these kinds like, of so people. So there's some like max peak or what? Well, just say that there's like there should be some way to like if you put like uh, you know, one oh, a gold ceiling ritual. I was thinking of like you know that you have the floor and then you have the ceiling. No, oh, that's like a what ritual we do for your ceiling. That's what we do. So we you write on the ceiling. No, we tape them to the ceiling. Okay, and keep them and from moving. Banish and them. Ceiling ritual, and then gotcha. we we burn some incense at the bottom, and it goes right in their nose. Right up, because yeah. it rises. And it's just like rises. ew, ew. And it's like, and then they're gonna they're gonna hate it so much they're gonna jump out of the okay. body. I take it back. I'm going back to my dimension. You win. And then they leave. And yeah. then we untape the person. No harm done. Yeah. And then everybody laughs about it. Has fun. Let's put him in a, on a the ceiling. A restraining order. If we lock order. up the killer until Mercury right. tells us Ellis is saved, that could work. But who is the killer? What if we you! just lock up Ellis? <gasps> oh, no. Okay. What if Ellis is her own killer? How do we work with that? Hold on. Is this just going who do you think the killer is right now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. I know. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Well, first, first we can work out the people who we are pretty sure it's not. Oscar. Not him. Now, listen. I initially was like, Oscar, not him. He was playing footy last night. <laughs> but. Uh, it seems he is close. He is close. The murderer had to be in her closet or whatever to be winning where they were. And that's where he would hang out. He might have said he was going to play football, but really he was going to watch his <gasps> girlfriend and her girlfriend. Hang on. You know how Oscar got all upset? Why could we tell Oscar we're a shape-shifting detective and he's the only one that got upset about it? <laughs> because he is, is the top. Uh, uh, uh huh. Mm, okay, okay. That said, I think Zach is up to something. Zach is up. I don't, I don't know if he's him. a murderer, but he's he's doing something creepy. He's doing something sly. He's definitely... he's. Give, been giving me the whole like eh, maybe I'll just answer this all smug like uh, I feel like well right now we are Bronwyn so we can't suspect her uh, and we're talking with Lexi so she probably can't we're planting seeds of her. doubt but yeah. we, we as Sam told her to look after Zach do we want to you can just tell her like do we hey. want to reinforce the something's up with the Zach guy because you know what Bronwyn also pulled up the thing for Zach and was like I don't like this one bit so like she could like it is not beyond the realm of possibility that real Bronwyn would, would come to Lexi, and if Lexi went, who do we sus suspect? Zach. I like your theory that he's him jumping into the photos is like is the the his travel mistaken traveling. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't even know his powers, and he's like you know killing kids in the school because he's too strong Cause magnets because he, he doesn't know. That's what happened in X Men, right? Magneto didn't realize how strong he was and just killed kids with staplers. Is that what he did? Yeah, remember that? Sure. That's when his powers manifested, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's the classic. I think so, too. Ah! I need a reason to visit him, though. Sam uh, told you. Photos. You need a reason to visit him? Sam fucking told you. Yeah. Hold on. Do we want Zach to come up here and Hi, invite I'm her sus over? Hi, I'm suspicious. Should you, you should come you to should my You should come house. visit me. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, girl, you want to come over? I'm Zach Weston. Just sharpening my and you know, here's situation. the thing. She'd come over to Zach. I doubt Zach would question it. Yeah, he'd be like, oh, He'd hey. be like, cool. I totally said that. Hey, can yeah. I get a picture? Come on by. Dad, damn it. Fuck. Like okay, let's be Zach earlier. and visit Zach and say, Zach, look. <laughs> let's be Lexi and visit Zach. <gasps> okay, let's do it. And then be like, hey, you should come. Uh, you should you come me up. all over me in my room <laughs> back there. Um, we, can, we can have the cards watch. Yeah. I'm Lexi. And you can take pictures or whatever. Yeah. Sorry, we're closed. Oh, oh no, you're but not. these legs are open. Something else. Yeah, yeah. I'm a friend of Dorota. Dorota. I'm sorry about what happened. Because you killed her. Dorota told me things about you. Can I come can in? Can I come in? Yeah, yeah call, come in like an hour and I'll give you a phone call to remind you. Dorota told me things about you. Dorota told me things about you. Here's the thing, I don't want to play up her being buddies Can with Dorota because they Nah, are... that's dumb. Uh, it's a bit late, but I think I can spare a few minutes. Cool. Come Sorry, visit I me at the guest house. Oh, here we go. Lexi. Lexi? 
I like it. It's got an edge. It's the X. That's what does it. Jota says she. Here we go. You're dating, Jota, you're dating Violet, aren't you? Hmm. Oh, I, I love Jota all these like bluff you. options. This is hmm. This seems like a a pretty crucial part here. And then we just leave and uh, leave yeah. the rest of it up to Lexi. <laughs> Uh, I know what you did, know and you if did you want me to it. stop, you should call me. <laughs> I know what you did, and if uh, if you don't want me to tell anyone, you're going to have to do it to me, too. I know what you did to Dorota. I didn't do anything to Dorota. You took pictures you of her. You seduced her. Mm. Yeah, because then we can lead that into, because mm -hmm. now you're seducing me. Mm -hmm. You make it sound so sordid. Dorota didn't do anything she didn't want to. Oh, okay. You're dating Violet, aren't you? No, we're just friends. That's not what you said to Violet! That's not what Violet thinks. Mm -hmm. Who's the snitch here? <laughs> That's not what Violet thinks. Yeah, let's let's burn this thing. Right? You know what? what Fuck I, that. He doesn't seem like the type. Uh, look, all right, maybe I'm becoming a little protective of Violet with the whole alien thing, but I no, don't think but he's I good gotta, for yeah, I don't think I don't think so either, and she kind of should be on, like, Tachyon 5 without you. <laughs> Violet doesn't always see things clearly. Like the UFOs? I know how to handle her. Oh, handle, see? huh? It's comments yeah. like that. Yeah, what the fuck do you mean That's by That's what makes me uncomfortable with you, Zach. Fuck off. I know how to talk to her. She's a sweetheart when you get to know her. <laughs> I just want to punch her. Just she knew you. <laughs> yeah, she had a portrait session with me. Can I get you a drink? Yes. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> He's Run. so excited. And now we leave. Yeah. Then we turn back into Sam. Well, that you have that like Whoa. right there. Also, you only brought one glass. Are you also, just gonna I like how you sit in front of your backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like this is just what you do. Can I pour me a drink? Oh, is that say UK? Here, I've only got vodka. You're old enough. To drink, right? No, uh, but I'll take it. Of course. <gasps> oh man! Ooh, do you want to? Ooh, I kind of want to. Ooh, I kind of want to. Ooh, I kind of want to. Do it. Do it. Do it. I don't care. What do you think of her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like That's so it. creepy. Yuck! This man not. This man might not be guilty of murder, but Kieran, he, I'm no, telling you right now, he's guilty of something. He definitely belongs in prison. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, he might not be our killer, but I think he's a perpetrator. <laughs> that's all I'm... That's, that's. Oh, my God. What's up, you shape shitters? I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching. You guys that watch this stuff, you're... Don't tell, don't tell anyone else, but you... You, the girl reading this right now, you're the coolest one. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye.